Creating an executable file. To follow along with this lesson, you will need an installed version of Visual Studio 2008. We begin with a newly created console project. This project was generated using the steps in C++ console lesson 1. I added code for a simple Hello World program for illustration. There are two modes of building a project, debug and release. If we left click on build in the menu bar and left click on configuration manager in the submenu, the configuration manager dialog pops up and we can see that the active solution configuration is debug. We do not need to change the configuration, so just click the close button to close the dialog. To generate an executable, we need to build the project. To do this, left click build in the menu bar and build solution in the submenu. Once the build is completed successfully, open the folder where your project is located. Inside that folder you will see a folder labeled debug since we are using a debug configuration. Left click the debug folder to open it and you should see your executable file there. You can use this executable to run your program but there are a few issues which we need to go over. The executable that we generated depends on a DLL file. So if we move the program to another machine, it will probably not run. So we want to make the executable independent of the DLL file. To do this, go back to the IDE and right click Hello World in the Solution Explorer pane and then left click Properties in the pop-up menu. This will open the Hello World property pages. Left click Configuration Properties and then C, C++ and finally Code Generation and you should see this. Under Runtime Library, select Multi-Threaded Debug and click the Apply button and then the OK button. Now you can build an executable that can be put on any Windows machine. There is one more issue. If you run the executable at this point, the window will open and close quickly. So we want to add code to keep the window open after the message is printed. To fix this problem, add these two lines to keep the window open. Since we have made substantial changes, we want to rebuild the entire project. Left click Build in the menu bar and left click Rebuild Solution in the submenu. Once the program is done compiling, you can double click the executable file in the debug folder to run the program. You should see this window pop up. This concludes the lesson.